beginning, there were ponies. The ponies entertained the masses to great acclamation. Ponies began an evolutionary move in 1982 when Hasbro toy employee Bonnie Zackerly designs the very first generation of My Little Pony toys. <laughs> Two years later, the very first syndication broadcast of the television show My Little Pony takes place. The setting, Dream Valley. My Little Pony, My Little Pony. Fans went wild communicating their pleasure on the internet of that era. In 1986, a feature film of the characters becomes a box office. Buy some apples! Within a year, My Little Pony is put on hiatus and Dream Valley gets some much needed sleep. <laughs> World Headlines 1992 Bill Clinton is elected 42nd President of the United States. Pope John Paul apologizes for that whole Inquisition thing. And the world takes a step closer to the magic of friendship as the new show, My Little Pony Tales, premieres on the Disney Channel. My Little Pony, My Little Pony Tales. Over the next few years, more happens, but the producer of this video has become overwhelmed and has given up on filling in the blanks. Fast forward to 2010. Generation 4 ponies are revealed in a brand new program on the Hub Channel called My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. The world is set on fire by this new generation of ponies. This new version of the longtime franchise features strong characters and is no longer bound to the sexist stereotypes of yesteryear thanks to developer Lauren Faust. This generation of the program speaks to young girls and also surprisingly to hip adults who cherish the magic of friendship. Bronies are now the majority in the My Little Pony fandom and have sparked a rush of fan-made programming, art, music, merchandise, and other creative outlets. Brony groups have sprung up all over the world where members meet up, watch the show, dance, celebrating the fact that friendship is indeed magic. Big Apple PonyCon is the yearly New York-based gathering of friends, fans, and people who carry on the spirit of My Little Pony, pushing forward the bonds of friendship and fun. Every pony who is any pony is getting ready for Big Apple PonyCon 2014, the premier convention for fans of My Little Pony, taking place Friday, June 6th and Saturday, June 7th, 2014, at the Landmark Lowe's, conveniently across the street from the Path train station in Jersey City. The guest list is off to a great start with special guest, My Little Pony creator, Bonnie Zackerly, in person. Also in person, Nicole Oliver, the voice of Princess Celestia. Kathy Weslock, voice of Spike. Also appearing via Skype, Tabitha St. Germain, the voice of Rarity, Princess Luna, and Granny Smith. Hi, I'm Tabitha St. Germain, and I'm hoping I'll see you at Big Apple PonyCon 2014. Stay tuned for updates on additional guests. On Friday, the grand opening gala will welcome guests in Pinkie Pie and Manhattan style with an amazing party of music, dancing, contests, prizes, fun, and more. Incredible singers, great DJs, and dance your hooves off. Swing. That's really awesome. Saturday, a full day of guest panels, merchandise, raffle mania, contest, music, food, and fun, including a very special sing-along with the theater's historic organ setting the tone. At the Cotton Candy Club Party, where we first announced Big Apple PonyCon 2014, our guests were given a small taste of the venue currently being restored, Lowe's Jersey. Beautiful, beautiful building. This is entirely maintained by contribution from locals. Now, see it all. Lobby, balconies, and the beautifully restored theater hall. And I know it's going to be so awesome. Buy your tickets now before the price increase. This is not just any convention in any old town. This is Big Apple PonyCon.